God bless you, brothers and sisters. I would like to tell you a testimony that I had promised the Lord over a year ago that I would share. In March 2020, our family purchased some chicks, one of which was very mean to the others, and I thought she might kill some. Our two-year-old snuck into the area where we were keeping the chicks and managed to pick up and kill two of them. My two older children were distraught to say the least, crying out, screaming and praying to the Lord to save their lives. We prayed as a family and promised to send in a praise report if the Lord would grant our request. The Lord answered our prayer and saved the chick that had been the meanest and completely changed her countenance in the process by becoming the sweetest, most personable chicken you've ever met. We named her Gloria, since it sounded like glory, and we were indeed giving the glory to God. My daughter soon wrote out her testimony to send in, and I am ashamed to say that I got caught up in life and did not send it in, despite knowing that I needed to. Fast forward to a year later, we were running to town in a hurry and both my daughter and I had a small feeling to lock up our chickens that were in the chicken run. But since it would only be a short errand, we hurried and left without doing so. We got home before dark and came to find my daughter's favourite chicken outside of the run and had been killed by what looked to be the doing of an owl. My daughter was devastated and we both spoke about that little feeling and the still small voice we heard and should have listened to. We should never dismiss it as just a feeling, as well as honouring our promises to the Lord. I am keeping my word, later than I am proud to admit, but nonetheless, the Lord deserves all the honour and glory in healing and bringing back to life our little Gloria. We are grateful for his guidance in teaching us to always listen to that still small voice and to keep our promises we make to him. I hope this testimony encourages you. God bless you.